Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel and thanks for logging on. Today we're discussing the Cartier Calibre de Cartier in 18 karat red gold. You can see and you can purchase this manufacture movement Cartier on our website. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you enjoy these videos and please click on the card in the upper right hand corner of the screen at any time during this video to see our full listing for this watch with additional accessories included with the sale, high resolution images and naturally complete pricing details for this solid gold Cartier. Now when it debuted in 2010, the Calibre de Cartier MC1904 combination, respectively the watch and the movement within it, represented a step forward for Cartier as a manufacturer traditionally known as a house of high style. It was rarely noted as a manufacturer of movements, but since 2010 the company has made a name for itself, both in the broad mid-market of high horology, so the eight to eighteen thousand dollar price range and in the high complication realm where its show to fond factory has turned out everything from minute repeaters to flying tourbillon and it all started with the watch that you see here now the timepiece is 42 millimeters across the round of the case from three to nine not including crown or crown guards it's remarkably slim being only 10 millimeters thick it actually looks thicker than it is and you can see from this angle how tall the bezel is heavily dished with a sort of reverse conical shape blending down from the flanks to the sapphire itself. That's right, the bezel is higher than the sapphire, which is excellent for the longevity of your sapphire. Now you can see from lug to lug, the watch looks broader than it is. 48.5 millimeters from extremity to extremity, it wears exactly that. The watch is relatively small lug to lug for a timepiece this large across the round of the case. And the reason that it wears so well as a larger piece is because the lugs are generously sculpted. You can see how they thrust down sharply as they exit the flank of the case. This allows the watch to wear well on a smaller wrist like mine, 16 centimeters in circumference, but you can wear it comfortably on a wrist far smaller than that. I would say even down to 14 and a half centimeters. Because of the way the lugs camber and the strap can pull straight down, you should have no trouble wearing this watch with security and the appearance of proportion. Now the strap is a very special piece. You can see of high grade, fairly thick cut. It has gloss alligator on the top supple calf on the bottom, but what really sets it apart is the way it's underslung beneath the flank of the case. The look is completely integrated, as you can see. There's no daylight visible between strap and case, and yet because the case is scalloped out, you can bend the strap straight down. This is not universal on watches that have this integrated aesthetic. Oftentimes they want to flare and fight you. Now you also note that the lugs are retained to the strap by screws. This is the best way to do it on a heavy and substantial watch such as this, especially given the price of the full gold reference. Cartier did not cut costs here. I'm very happy to see the screws rather than spring bars. Now you'll note that the clasp is extremely substantial. All of red gold like the case itself. It joins with the opposite side of the strap, which you'll note is completely unperforated. So the clasp acts as both the strap minder, taking up any excess strap, and by means of a cinching system, it avoids the use of perforations to fix the strap, which allows the opposite side of the strap to enjoy long wearing durability, as it isn't continuously reamed by the pin part of the pin buckle. Now, of course, the highlight of this watch is the dial case and movement combination, and each one's rather Baroque. Now, Cartier has always been known as a house of style, and that tradition continues here. Cartier, of course, being based in Paris, has a little bit of a different styling sensibility than the Swiss or the Germans, who are also involved in the horology industry. You can see that the case is well, tremendously nuanced. Considering its size, there's a tremendous amount of delicate finishing. Note the small polished bevel along the shoulder of the lug. Note the compound curvature of the lug, how it bends out and down, but at the same time it slopes off with tumble home from center to side. Note the delicacy of the satin finishing and its contrast with the thin polished halo of that red gold bezel. And note how the polish is only on the circumference, not on the inside dished portion. The dial is beautifully made with traditional rose lathe guilloche, but also with applied stylized Roman numeral 12 at 12 o'clock. It's an upscale feature that wears well. Likewise, there are applied indices at the bottom. It's almost like a modern day California dial, alternately baton indices and stylized Cartier Roman numerals with a railroad style minutes track outboard and a sub second style with its own inner minute track and chapter ring. Now the watch features a triple date such that when the minute hand is superimposed over the date, you can still tell by the preceding and succeeding date visible 
visible, what day it is, and of course there is a Cartier secret signature, you can just see it on the Roman numeral 10. Turn the watch over, and you can see the titular Calibre de Cartier. This is the 27 joule automatic MC1904 PS4 Petite Seconde, the small second. You can see the distinctive Cartier micrometric regulator organ featuring the Cartier C. The entire thing, automatic winding twin mainspring barrels, which I'll show you right here. You can see the twin mainspring barrels to good effect. They ensure a more progressive and steady release of torque throughout the power reserve of the watch, the 48 hours, such that it's keeping good time when fully wound and still keeping good time when largely discharged. Additional features include unlubricated ceramic rotor bearings for high efficiency and long wearing durability, as well as a quick set function for the date and a hacking function for precise synchronization to a known accurate reference time. And while the watch does have the burly character of a sports watch, 3 ATM or 30 meter water resistance means you're going to want to put on your Calibre de Cartier diver rather than taking this one into the pool or the ocean. You can see and you can purchase this Calibre de Cartier in red gold on our website.